the thing that Einstein like, said we say that do. Einstein couldn't do. Can we actually do this? Okay. So for the longest time, gravitational radiation was just this thing that, you know, it's hypothesized, but even Einstein said, you're never going to fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Never. Brainer Weiss starts thinking about it, about the experiment, and he comes up with this idea of the interferometer. Okay. Okay. Which is really what LIGO's um, design is today. The idea is you've got an, you've got an L-shaped instrument where I have light moving in this direction and light moving perpendicular. It's the same setup that Michelson Morley used back in the late 1800s to show that light was moving in the same speed. That same thing, what if we just made it big, mm -hmm. okay? What are the types of noise that I'm gonna run into mm -hmm. when I make an instrument of this scale and I wanna measure something this precisely, mm -hmm. okay? And he came up with a list of all of the noise sources that they're going to have to deal with. There's going to be seismic noise, right. earthquakes. Yes. Even an earthquake that's on the other side of the world is going to create low frequency vibrations on the earth. At the level that we're trying to measure. And that's going to create stuff. The waves from the ocean, that's going to create noise. Cars and trucks, people walking by, that's going to create noise. Elephants in the Sahara. Yeah. <laughs> he had something called quantum noise. Okay. Which is literally the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. principle. Yes. Okay? Yes. It's like there's noise that we're not going to get rid of ever. Yes. Because that's just how it is. Yes. And he made a list of all of these all of these noise sources and he came up with sort of the, the ways in which we can we can make this happen. Kip Thorne on the other hand, he he starts doing theoretical calculations of what are the sources in astronomy that could create these gravitational waves, right. right? That we would be able to see. Right. How often would these go off? Right. Given our assumptions about the universe. Right. And theoretically, is it possible, like that Heisenberg uncertainty limit, what is that limit? Right? Mm -hmm. Are we hopeless? Mm -hmm. Or is the Heisenberg uncertainty limit just below right. the sensitivity that we need mm -hmm. to actually find these things? Right. Okay. Okay. Um, they think that you know maybe maybe this could actually work, okay? Right, right. They're like just so crazy. They they're like maybe this could actually the work. The audacity. Yeah, dude. And they decide to pitch it to the NSF, mm -hmm. okay? National like, Science Foundation. And the NSF is like, hmm, this is this. We is. have this amount of money. Yeah, we have this amount of money, and what you're saying is something that Einstein said wouldn't work. So they're like, all right, we're going to give you enough funding where you're not going to find gravitational waves. But you can at least start making a prototype to figure out if you can mitigate these sources of no. error.